Hi, welcome to my living room. In this video, I wanted to show you my latest project I've been working on, which is right in front of you. And the reason for this project was that I wanted to add something to my living room wall and to spice it up a bit. And as I re really like lamps, I decided to build a RGB wall lamp myself. So before we go into more details, let me turn off the lights and let's turn on the lamp. And we're starting off with one of the patterns I like the most, which is the RGB color wheel. It can show all the colors the lamp can display, starting from white in the center to the RGB colors on the outside, slowly rotating. It even shows magenta, a color that technically doesn't even exist, and therefore I hate it. Magenta. So to get all these colors, I used NeoPixel strips. Obviously, I can't afford real NeoPixels, so I bought some Chinese copies off of a large online warehouse, and I used those, and those have been working great so far. So the whole thing is controlled by an Arduino Nano 33 IoT, which sits in the very middle of the lamp. And the reason for that was because it was easier to wire to the NeoPixel strips. Uh, so I had a symmetrical length of NeoPixels on uh, all three NeoPixel strips, uh, which then are controlled individually. Uh, makes it easier to do the whole uh, programming business, uh, which I don't have any clue about, but uh, it was a bit easier to do this way. And the Arduino Nano 33 IoT, what a great name, uh, runs at 3.3 volts. So also in the middle sits a I squared C level shifter, which shifts the signal from 3.3 volts to 5 volts for the LED strips. And both the Arduino and the LED strips, as well as the level shifter, are provided power by a 5 volt 10 amp power supply, which sits below the table, and the cable is coming in at the bottom. So after getting all the technical details out of the way, let's have a look at the patterns I've programmed. We're starting off with a basic white light, which is just a normal mode, um, just if you don't want all the animations going and have something easy for the eyes. And uh, you can also see it looks dim and it's getting a bit brighter now, but it's very hard to see unfortunately in the video. YouTube is handling the darkness is not very good and the camera also adjusted the brightness constantly. Forgot to fix it beforehand. So you have to trust me on this. You can adjust the brightness in a couple of steps. Uh, so uh, it depends on how bright you want. And besides being static white, you can see it can also be another color, uh, which would be static, static red, static yellow. Uh, all of them we have seen previously. I'm not going to show you all of them because it would take too long and it's boring. Next one. And this mode is also one that I do really like because it's another color shift which uses all the RGB color space and uh, it slowly shifts them from the inside to the outside. So you have always changing uh, patterns on the wall around it and I do think that looks really neat. And it's also possible to adjust the speed of all the animations and uh, you can see here the animation going really slow. And you now should be able to see it going a bit faster. So yeah, you can play around with the speed depending on what you want to see. So the final mode I wanted to show you is the default mode that happens every time you start up the lamp currently. And you can see the startup sequence going there. And once that is finished, we see rays of light spawning from the center. And they travel in random directions uh, from the center outwards. And uh, they also have different colors and different energy levels. And basically each step they take or each uh, LED they travel through, they will lose some energy. And depending on how much energy they start with, their travel distance is changing. And uh, their goal is to move to the center uh, or go back to the center again. And once they do that, they manage to kill or disable all the other rays of light. So you could just see that happen a couple of seconds ago. And I think there is one more coming up in the footage uh, right now. And you can see the green one managed to reach the center again and there's a little animation playing that uh, kills all the other light rays. And I really like that, that's really nice to watch. You can also adjust speed and brightness as you could do with the previous modes. And it's also available in black and white, which I will show you right now. And yeah, while that is going, uh, we are pretty much at the end of uh, this video. Uh, that's about all I can show you about this little project. Uh, there is some more details uh, I have on my website uh, as a written post uh, with all the parts I ordered and uh, all that stuff, uh, if you want to check that out. Approximate price for this project was about 150 US dollars, give or take, a couple of dollars I guess, uh, depending on which parts you have at home. And yeah, uh, so this is not uh, very expensive to make and I think it looks quite great. It's a fun little project to do at the weekend. 
And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, see you at the next one.